Hey, hey, y'all. Uh, I know it's been a little bit longer than normal. Uh, life happens, though, but here we are back at it. Chapter 7, The Mind. So this chapter is also, once again, as a repeat, is probably the heaviest chapter yet. I mean, this one, you just get a lot more translations of, like, uh, Sanskrit, you know, English to Sanskrit words. Um, I'm not going to try to pronounce them. Um, but I did also even learn a new uh, English word, too. Uh, so that was fun. So yeah, there's a lot of... Uh, but in general, this chapter is like pretty heavy. So what I like about it... The, right off the bat, this questioner is... this. Each chapter is a different questioner, so, which is one of the re reasons why they're separated. Um, this particular questioner... They never tell you, I don't think they tell you, yeah, they never tell you who the questioners are, but whoever this one is, um, they, they do seem to go kind of back and forth a bit in this one. Um, Maharaj, numerous times in this chapter, he's just like, you know, like your world is just, you know, this, you know, you know, for example, it says, it is your world you have in mind, not mine. What do you know of me? Even when even my talk with you is in your own world only. You have no reason to believe that my world is identical with yours. My world is real, true, as it is perceived, while yours appears and disappears according to the state of mind, the state of your mind. Your, your world is nothing; is something alien, and you are afraid of it. My world is myself. I am at home. Your, I mean, especially I love how he says your world is something alien. And you are afraid of it. My world is myself. I am at home. Like, and this is like a big theme throughout this whole thing that, he's t that he really talks about with the mind. Is that, you know, yeah, like, and I, there's another part of it. One of the way he really, there's one part of it, the way he phrases it. Where, ah, yes. Okay, so he says, my world is an open world, common to, to all, accessible to all. In my world, there is community, insight, love real quality the individual is the total the totality in the individual all are one and the one is all and so and then right afterwards the question is is your world full of things and people as is mine and Maharaj says no it is full of myself <laughs> i just love that just it's full of myself well i think you understand like what he's trying to get at is that like the world is from yeah it's a mind you know it's a very much a, it's like a very mind centric and he you know even at the very beginning you know they it, the questioner is like you know well people are you know very convinced like there's like a hierarchy of beings you know describing evolution and a little bit not like not directly but that's kind of what you you see is like it's like a very much like hey like there's like yeah there's you know you know very competent people say there exists a hierarchy of beings from the lowest to the highest on each level. The complexity of the organism enables and reflects the depths and breadth and intensity of consciousness without any visible or knowable accumulation. Uh, and one supreme r rule uh, rules throughout evolution, blah, blah, blah. Like, you know, they're saying, yeah, cause they really do get into detail, you know, this questioner says right away, like, well, a lot of smart people say there is this world. And Maharaj is like, eh, maybe, may or may not be so. And even if it is, it is only from the mind's point of view. So, like, and he says, and so it's like, yeah, there, there could be this level, this fiscal level, like, doesn't really change anything. It doesn't change anything. That the world, though, is still, ultimately, when you, you know, in understanding the universe, you need like an observer. You need the observer. You are the observer. The world and the universe is from you. At least that's kind of the vibe I get from this. Um, but yeah, so it's, like I say, it's a very good chapter. It's a very deep chapter. Um, I I like it a lot. Um, like I say, I like this book as it gets going and going. It just he's I think Maharaj is as hard hitting yet was hard hitting in this chapter and like I said I can't recommend this book enough and I'm only only seven, seven chapters and I'm already in love and there's like I think 
another 40 or so chapters. I mean, no, this one, uh, let me see, there's a total of 101 chapters or so. But, like, um, and there's almost all appendices. But, mind you, like, each of these chapters are, like, three pages or so. So, it's not like, you know, each of these is now. So, a lot of these, cha these chapters are pretty short. So, anyways, um, hope you enjoyed that. And I will try to post more often. But, well, life is life. So, anyways, hope you all have a good one. Peace.